Hello, this is XSI. After starting XSI, we see our workspace. At the beginning, we have a big giant viewport. You can minimize the viewport with a click on this little icon on the right up corner of the window. You can maximize it in the same way. Normally, we have four different viewports on the screen with top view, front view, right view and camera view. You can resize the viewport by left clicking on one of the boundaries of the viewport. For reset the size, horizontal or vertical, click with the middle mouse button on one of the boundaries. or centralize all viewports by middle-clicking on the middle of all boundaries of the viewport. Every viewport can show different content. With a click on the drop-down menu on top of every viewport you can change it. For example, showing the Explorer or Outliner. On the left bottom of the screen there are pre-configured layout tabs. Here you can change the viewport layout for different workspaces. For example, one 3D viewport, one explorer and one notary editor. You can also hide or unhide the side or top bottom panels to maximize your workspace. On the left side you have your tools panel. It's divided in several tabs for working with Modeling, Animation, Rendering, Eyes, Simulating or Hair. You can switch the panels also with the number keys on top of your keyboard with 1 for Modeling, 2 for Animating, 3 for Rendering or 4 for the Eyes. And you have access to all tools from all tabs here on the drop-down menu. On the left bottom you can switch to the weight paint tools or scene color tools. On the bottom of your screen is the timeline. Here you have a quick access of all your animation options. Define the length of your sequence, scrubbing to your timeline, playback and reverse your animation. Jump to frames, play frame by frame, set your animation presets like the frame rate, setting keyframes for animation, on the right side you have your select panels and transform panels. From here you can choose which type of object you want to select. Whole objects, just polygons, edges or vertices. The transform tab allows you to see the position of objects or object components like polygons or vertices. You can manually type in exact values here. You can choose your coordinate system for transform like local or global space. You can define snapping options to move objects on the grid or on points or surfaces of other objects. The Constrain and Edit tab we discuss later.